The fledgling Libyan army trains in what was once a base for Gaddafi's brigades. A much needed military exercise. Even their officers say the soldiers lack discipline and professionalism. Nevertheless, these men are determined to restore law and order in a country where there is a struggle for power. We were all revolutionaries, fighting on the front lines against Gaddafi's forces. The war ended. Now we want a legitimate authority, so we joined the army. Those who refuse to join want to hold on to power. The Libyan Shields, the February 17 Brigade, Rafala El Sahati Brigade, are all powerful armed groups formed during the war against Gaddafi's regime. The government now relies on them for security. But these groups have joined the military as units rather than individual fighters, and their loyalty lies with their commanders. No, they don't take orders from us. They are outside the army's command structure. We're asking the state what they intend to do about this. There is a security problem in Libya. There have been bombings, assassinations, and more often than not, it has been the symbols of the state that have been targeted. Some people blame the armed groups for the instability. They now call them criminal or illegal militias because they refuse to cede power. But those groups say they have little faith in the army as an institution. Ismail Salabi, who was once the Benghazi commander of the February 17 Brigade, says the army only exists by name. Who should the revolutionaries give their arms to? The officers who served under Gaddafi are in the army and they want to be warlords. And we still don't agree on the political future of Libya. The army has been trying to show who is in charge. But the state security apparatus is weak. And just like Libya's political landscape, it is fractured. This is a country awash with weapons. They were once used against a common enemy. They are now ammunition for political gains. Zana Khudr al-Jazeera, Benghazi.